Yes, family, you don't know what's good. It's your boy Jeds. I'm back with another chill talk. In the standing, in the space, dirty world, food for thought. Check out them hashtags. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it real quick. Uh, basically, learn how to find your flow, bro. You know what I mean? Learn how to find your flow and stay in your flow. Stay in your fucking lane, man. What is your flow? <sighs> your flow is the pace of your life that is comfortable yet challenging. Comfortable yet inspiring, yeah? Your flow is your happy, your, ha your sweet spot in your life. You know, when things are just going just the way you want. Um, you're getting challenges, you may even have setbacks, but the way you deal with these challenges, the way you even approach or even uh, perceive these challenges, you, you do it in a healthy way. You, you perceive them in a way that it's like, yo, listen, right, this has come up, boom, what's the solution? This has come up, right, who can I delegate to? What can I employ? What can I create to get over this obstacle? When you're in that kind of flow, it's not like, oh my God, there's an issue, there's a problem, what the fuck am I gonna do? You understand? It's more like, yo, nothing ain't gonna stop me, nothing ain't gonna get in my way. I see this little obstacle and I know that I've got the, I've got the resources, the skills, the talents, the tools to overcome whatever's in my way. Your flow is when you leave a yard just at the right time, you're never rushed. You never rush, bro. What kind of flow is that? You never rush, you do things on your time. Natural timing, I'm a believer in natural timing, yeah? You see if my spirit really speaks to me and says, look, brother, don't go. Or brother, don't worry about it. Or brother, don't rush. Trust me, I do the opposite. I do the opposite when, when, when that feeling of, uh, oh shit, oh, I ran out of time, oh, quickly got I do the opposite. I take my time, I slow it down. And guess what, it seems like the whole, the whole universe, the whole world seems to bend at my will. And things happen in my time because I'm in my flow. This is my path. I ain't rushing for no one. And I ain't gonna be bent out of shape or out of sorts. You know what I mean? And this is a mental thing. I'm not necessarily just talking about, oh yeah, physically, oh physically, uh, 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 slow it down. No, I'm saying mentally. Think and, and analyze and approach your world with your pace. Don't try and match no one else's pace. Don't try to do what anyone else is doing. Do what you're doing, do what's right for you. This is really about attuning yourself into uh, your, your intuition, um, into, I suppose, your nat that, yeah, natural timing. That's the only thing I can really call it, yeah? It's about learning how to tune into your natural timing. Yeah, your body's natural rhythm, your mind's natural rhythm, your emotions natural rhythm, and your environment. Yeah, and that's going with the flow. Not with the flow, going with your flow. There's a flow of energy, there's a slipstream of energy that is designed just for you and your frequency, right? And you need to find that, tap into it, and flow into it, mum. Once you flow into it, the hills and the troughs, the peaks, and the, and the, and, and the, the valleys, uh, they become part of your journey, man. You know what I mean? They don't become obstacles. They become part of your journey. That means that you don't have to worry about being out of sorts. You don't have to worry about being at the wrong place in the wrong time or with the wrong people. But from you following your flow, from you staying in your flow, nothing can't fuck with you. Trust me, nothing, no obstacle. There is no such thing as an obstacle when you're flowing. There's challenges designed to bring out the best in you, designed to bring out aspects of you that you didn't know were available and possible. So yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. You gotta stay in your flow. No one else's. Don't get caught up in someone else's biorhythm. Don't get caught up in someone else's thought processes. Don't get caught up, um, caught up in someone else's pace. You gotta set your own pace, yeah? Set your own pace, love it, learn it, and vibe with that, and sit in that, sit in your pocket. Do you know what I mean? And this ain't about not being uncomfortable. Yeah, this ain't about not being uncomfortable. Yeah, you, I want you to be uncomfortable, yeah? 
But your uncomfortability is only part of the process of you being in your flow. It doesn't take you out of sorts. Stay in your zone. Find your lane. There ain't nothing wrong with being in your lane, you know. Ain't nothing wrong. Your, your lane could be wide and, and far-reaching. You don't feel like you're downplaying yourself or you're restricting yourself because you're in your lane and you're not trying to be in anyone else's lane. Yeah? Flow. Check it out, man. Stay in your flow. Find your flow and work with it. Become harmonious with it. Don't go against your own natural rhythm. Don't do that to please others or to even please yourself, to stress yourself because there's not going to be no joy found in imitating or replicating somebody else's flow. You've got to find your own place in this, in this universe, in this world, in this realm. You've got to find your, your rhythm, yeah? your signature, the, your unique uh, energy signature and you've got to manifest that and make that, uh, perpetuate that and encourage that. And you also got to nurture your own flow, yeah? Because some people be like, I don't have one. I'm not sure what mine is. Because you're not even spending time to, to listen to the one that's, that's resonating from your very being. You need to take the time to check it out. Because if you never considered it before, you might think that it don't exist. All right, man. So I'm going to leave you with that one real quick, man. Today's true talk is find your flow and stay in it. Yeah? Catch me out and all... Uh, digital platforms, Red Pill Trill, Jedi underscore on Insta and on Twitter, Jedi Online on YouTube, Triluminati Live on YouTube and all that good stuff. Don't forget, check out the Trill Riders event on the 22nd of July. Catch me at the SMFY street party this Saturday, the 15th. Catch me at the Pod and Party uh, this Sunday on the 16th in Brickstone with uh, Noise and Banter. Catch me next Sunday uh, at the Pillow Talks event at Soulful Sundays in um, Bricks, London, like London Bridge, Boroughs type ends. All the information is on my page on YouTube, um, on Instagram, Red Pill. Not even that, fucking hell. On Instagram, Jedi underscore. Do you know what I mean? Um, have a great week. Enjoy your weekend. And yeah, we link up soon. You done know. It's crackle. Good gym session. GBH. Come on, the original GBH, you know. Seriously, all right, let me show you the back. Let me show you the back of this. This is old school. Those that know, know. Those that don't, may not care. But we are the original section. Yeah. Come on, bred in captivity. Oh, you can't even see it properly, can you? Bred in captivity. You know what I mean? Keep it moving. Yeah. Peace, anyway, man. Enjoy your day. And I'm out, man. Don't forget, please interact with my posts. Hit the like button, um, comment and all that. And if you enjoy my content, hit up the PayPal. The PayPal link is in my YouTube videos. Do you know what I mean? But it's basically PayPal forward slash Triluminati Live. So if you want to show some love financially and help your brother out, you know, I've got a new studio building for podcasts and music and this and that. You know what I mean? If you want to support what I do, then you can show love that way. Otherwise... Stay tuned, look out for the Patreon coming real soon and all the other good um, bits and bobs that I've got going on in, man. Look, eight minutes, man. This is too long. Peace. Sklackle.